my God, it was amazing. As always. Mega Santos, everybody. Welcome back, everybody. My first guest tonight is the Emmy and Tony Award-winning actor you know and love from The Crown, Bombshell, Terms of Endearment, and so much more. Please welcome back to The Late Show, your friend and mine, John Lithgow, everybody. <laughs> Wonderful to see you. Great nice to, to be have back. you out here. We just had uh, Rudy Giuliani out here. Did you run into him backstage? You know, it's amazing. Every time I've been here, he's been in the next dressing room. Incredible. <laughs> Incredible. He's got a thing. He's, he seems to be a super fan of yours. I'm a magnet. Um, uh, it's always wonderful uh, to see you. You've, you. We've been always. so lucky to have you so many times over the years. It's been great. Thank you so much for, uh, for being such a frequent guest. You know, it, it's a funny thing, Stephen. I feel like we've become old friends, and yet every word we've said to each other has been witnessed by millions and millions of people. I know. It's, it's a little of... weird. You're, you are one of my favorite people to have on. I always feel like I'm just sitting down with a, with a buddy. I really and feel yet like it's we're all old been friends. documented. But I do have a, a terrifying fantasy mm -hmm. of you and I actually having lunch alone together and discovering that we don't really like each other. <laughs> It's like, where's all the Only laughter? one way to find out. <laughs> well... <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, lunch alone together, but we'll set up a camera. Yes, yeah, sure, exactly. <laughs> and then we'll, be, then we'll be at our most... Well, we, uh, our, yeah. our best behavior we will in that be, moment. We will be recorded earlier. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, right. yes. Um, <laughs> yeah, okay, I, I am a fan not only of your acting, uh, um, uh, but your writing, your poetry, your music. You know, I've got, I've got, I've, I've got your albums. Yes, yes. Well, and you, you, uh, but you, if that wasn't enough, all those things to your credit. Now you're adding director. Mm -hmm. You are directing uh, Doug McGrath's one man show. Everything's fine. There we go. At the Daryl Roth here in New York City. Yes, yes. Okay. Hey, here's the thing, which I find surprising. You, this is your first time you're directing in 45 years. That's right. Yeah. Why? Why you did you did direct before? I actually years ago? started out more as a director than an actor. Why? What happened? What drove you off your? I your finally path? became a successful actor. And, <laughs> oh, I suppose and that was I, paying the bills. And it dawned on me that I I like acting a lot more than directing. Directing, you're just worrying all the time until it's actually done. You're responsible for every, about 50 people minimum, whereas an actor is not responsible for anything at all. And you only get applause, if you're lucky, you get applause on opening night, and people, that's it. People don't even know who you are. And if you show up two, years a, two weeks after the opening night with notes, they pay absolutely no attention to you. <laughs> Your old history, you know, it's ours now. And I know that feeling because I'm an actor. <laughs> oh, what do you like about directing? Well, I do love actors. I love acting and I love actors. And I, I do feel that as an actor, I do have one other way to, to guide them and help them. Mm -hmm. uh, You've I, been through it. I've been through it. I mean, it's an interesting thing. I, I, by now, I've worked with at least 200 directors. Mm -hmm. Directors tend to have only work with one, himself or herself. Mm. And, uh, and therefore, you know, I'm, by now I'm a, I'm a sort of connoisseur. I've been able to pick and choose mm -hmm. what I like. Well, p different directors have different styles. Completely I mean, Ed, do you, is there a, I'm not gonna ask you to name your favorite director unless you want to. There have been so many great directors, but an awful lot of total turds. <laughs> I, you know. <laughs> Do go on. No. They're the ones I won't name. <laughs> well, is there a favorite note that you've gotten? You know, I think my favorite note came from uh, a, 
a young director named Ira Sachs. He directed a beautiful little film I did a few years ago with Fred Molina called Love is Strange. Mm -hmm. And his constant note to both of us was, now, no acting. <laughs> and at first, Fred and I, who are both completely excessive theater actors, mm -hmm. our response was, well, what do you think we do? <laughs> But very soon, it dawned on me just what Ira was after. I mean, yes. it was the most un, unelaborated, honest and simple acting I think I've ever done. It's one of my favorite act, uh, performances. We have to take a quick break, but stick around, because we'll be right back with more Mr. John Lithgow, everybody. Yeah. 